So in today's video, I wanted to talk about the Mac mini M2 Pro, which I'm currently using. It's this bad boy right here. I've been using it for about, I don't know guys, what's it been like six months. And I've been so pleased with it that I can't bring myself to upgrade it to something like a Mac studio or a MacBook with M3 Max or anything like that. I think that the M2 Pro is just fantastic. And I really like the Mac mini lineup. You know, I've been using Mac minis for more than 10 years now, and I've been impressed with those machines for such a long time. It's still a very good product. Like I know it's kind of limited if you compare it to like an iMac, you know, there's no screen, you don't even get the keyboard or a mouse, but you know, you pay for the bare thing the machine itself and sometimes that's all you really want because you already have a mouse and a keyboard and a monitor and speakers and stuff like that and so i love the product and i'll probably keep on buying uh mac minis in the future the one thing that i would like on a mac mini on a future mac mini is an sd card reader in the front you know that would just be the cat's pajamas you know like or at least have it in the back which it used to be on a previous model, like maybe this was a previous, previous, previous model, but it, you, there used to be an SD card reader on Mac minis. They just removed it. Cheap bastard at Apple. But my point is this. The M2 Pro still delivers every single time. I edit a lot of videos. I edit in 4K. I shoot log and I color grade. And the performance is just fantastic like it's amazing i've been using final cut pro for a really really long time and when i used something like a mac mini with an m chip you know the m1 or the m2 pro it just feels so fluid when i'm in final cut pro and i just really love using the mac mini and you know i really don't want to mention um, a price perspective here but <laughs> It is kind of an important deal of the Mac Mini because you have to remember that the Mac Mini was always introduced as a way for new Mac users to try out the Mac OS system for an affordable price and then upgrade to, you know, more luxurious Apple products, so to speak. And so that's why I love that there is even a Mac Mini that Apple you know, still left that alone, that they didn't upgrade it with a bunch of features that would make it much more expensive. And so I really, so I'm really just so glad that the Mac mini exists still to this day, you know, um, it doesn't sort of sing along with the rest of the Apple company line making very expensive products. You know, the one thing obviously that they've then sort of removed ex um, apart from the SD card reader is the ability to upgrade. You know, you can't upgrade the RAM or the storage. Now, when it comes to the storage, I just want to mention who cares? Like I have an SD, sorry, uh, <laughs> a Samsung T7 four terabyte SSD here, an external one that I connect in the back of the Mac mini and it just works beautifully. So you don't have to upgrade the storage on a Mac mini. The RAM, that's a different story. Whereas I would always suggest to get at least 16 gigs of RAM. Just trust me on this. You just really want to have 16 gigs of RAM. But other than that, really the M2 Pro just delivers when I'm editing videos, it has significantly reduced my uh, loading speeds and exporting speeds. And, you know, we're living in such a stressful time that we just don't have time for videos to exporting, you know? And so the Mac mini really delivers in that area. Now, if I'm being completely fair, and I just feel like I have to mention, and I'm going to probably have to make a video about this as well. I also do have the Mac mini M1 still, because that product is sort of like a, um, backup product in case this one dies on me, which I doubt it will. Um, but the jump from M1 to M2 Pro, 
it's not as big as you would expect going from a one to a two. You would expect it to be like twice the speed, but it's just not, okay? Mm, sometimes when you're exporting in H.265, maybe you can tell that it goes a lot faster, but it still feels just as fluid editing a video on an M1 Mac Mini as an M2 Pro. So if you want to compare those two machines, um, and if you know, you're on a budget, the Mac mini M1 is still a pretty good buy. But if you want to have something that that's a bit more future-proofed, go with the M2 Pro. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this little video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.